Hello, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to use Isotope RX as an external editor in Cubase and how to export files from your projects, process them in Isotope RX to address issues in them and then re-import them into the track. So the first thing that you need to do is just click on the audio event in the project, then go up to audio and then direct offline processing or you can hit F7 to bring that up. From there, you want to go to plugin. Well, first you want to untick auto apply. Then you want to get plugin. Then I want the VST3 version of RX Connect. And I want it in repair mode. Then when you hit apply, it'll open up in an external editor. In this case, it's Isotope RX7. Next thing that you want to do is select a part of the track that just has the noise that you're looking to remove. So should be somewhere around here. One a bit without the harmonics, if possible. So this is a fan noise. Back when I recorded this song, I was recording and mixing in the same room, and the computer that I was using at the time wasn't particularly powerful. This was like 15, 20 years ago. So the CPU fan is really ramping up there. So open up Spectral Denoise, click Learn on that section. And it creates a profile. Then if I double click on the file and then hit render, you can see that the noise that was in the background is basically completely gone. I'll undo that and let you hear what it sounded like before. So I'll redo it. So it's done a pretty amazing job there of removing it. You can go in and bring this back a little bit if you want. So it's a little bit less. I'd recommend putting it on the best setting. But yeah, once you've done that, what you want to do is click send back, which brings you back to Cubase and then you hit apply. And when you hit apply, then it'll change that audio event. And you can see probably a little change there. So we've got the same thing on the guitar here. Again, make sure auto applies off. RX Connect PST3 version. Then you just click apply. And again, I want to, what I'm going to do actually is just use the profile that I have from the previous file, just because there doesn't seem to be any space there where the guitar is not there and I don't want to remove any necessary information. But it should be the same background noise. So that's it with. And this is it without. So again, it's it's done a great job. Again, just send back and then hit apply.
same thing with this guitar part. Direct offline processing. That one may have already been done. No. So take the sample. Select the entire file. Send back and then hit apply once you get back to QBS. of that song where it was the original mix so if I solo that and let you hear what the noise was like at the end of that the original mix is very very wet with reverb I'm, I'm glad that I was able to piece it back together you can hear the accumulative noise I compare that to how it is now. So yeah, I'm really happy with how that's worked out. mandolin parts this one in particular was had a lot of background noise and um, the guitar parts as well if you have isotope rx or you're thinking about picking up isotope rx this workflow is actually really helpful so yeah hopefully people find this video helpful and insightful and if you have isotope rx this is definitely worth looking into as a way to use it and i will be back with another video soon cheers <laughs>